that we should implement the arrangement with Malay. If you want to stop the boats, and we did stop the boats, we need offshore processing at Nauru. This will smash that people smugglers business model. Malaysia, and Malaysia is not a signatory to the UN Convention. Under this arrangement, if someone seeks to come to Australia, then they are at risk of going to Malaysia and going to the back of the queue. We need temporary protection visas and we need the option of turning boats around where it falls. They believe they are coming Remember to Australia fact. but they end up somewhere else. It is a virtual turnaround of boats. I think that uh, the Malaysia deal was always a bad deal. Um, it was a very bad deal. Uh, but as I said, uh, I'm not in the business of ruling things in or ruling things out. This is an agreement which will break the people's business business model. Our message is clear. There's no tr point in travelling to Australia by boat. Why is the Prime Minister persisting with a policy that has been rejected by the High Court? To break the people smugglers' business model, you have to take away the product they sell. You just cannot trust the people who created this problem to fix it. And let's be very clear about what that means, John. I believe we are at a real risk of seeing more boats, of seeing men and women and children get on boats and putting their lives at risk. This is a government which is proposing to do uh, to people who arrive on the shores of this country something that if it was even contemplated for a second uh, by the Howard government would have been condemned. That's what it's all been about. It hasn't been about border security. It hasn't been about appropriate treatment of refugees. All it's ever been about is the political interest we will determine who comes to our country and the circumstances under which they come. Result an enormous relief for the 330 odd people on Christmas Island who face being removed to Malaysia. In a 6-1 majority decision, the court ruled the deal invalid, finding Malaysia wasn't bound by the International Refugees Convention or any domestic law that would guarantee asylum seekers their legal and human rights.